All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another EA Sports PGA Tour career mode video here. We're back with part number three with Charlie Woods on the Corn Ferry Tour. So we are ready to rock here with Charlie, and we're playing the players at TPC Sawgrass. Well, we're doing the Players Stadium course at TPC Sawgrass. We're not playing in the players. This is the Corn Ferry Tour, of course, but we're doing um, the Florida Open at TPC Sawgrass, and I'm looking forward to this one. We had our first top 10 finish in the last Corn Ferry Tour event, and we're looking to do even better here and get our first win on the Corn Ferry Tour at Sawgrass. I know this course well. I'm going to change my uh, my Sunday outfit until I get a better um, red outfit because I've actually gone through and bought so many t-shirts just trying to get a red one for Sunday and it hasn't come through yet, but I'm trying my best though. We're, we live in hope, but let's put on a new top until we do get uh, a clean red one. <laughs> I got some clean new Jay Lindeberg stuff, and, and I like the look of them. Uh, Georgia on my mind. The Masters starting, of course, today, which is going to be awesome. How about this? Adidas go to... Nah, I can't put an Adidas on. That just feels wrong. Uh, it just feels wrong to put an Adidas top on Charlie Woods when Tiger was with Nike all those, uh, <laughs> all those years, you know? How about something like this? A little Puma top. We also have... I like this Puma one, actually. The Gust of Wind one, the high rise. Uh, that's pretty clean. Uh, so I'll go with that for now. Uh, more of a neutral color until we find a, a really clean red outfit. But Charlie, let's do it. Let's have it, sunshine. Let's do this thing. Um, TPC Sawgrass is one of my favorite courses. Um, AI scoring difficulty still on 95. We had a much better uh, better round there. But the leader's at 6 under here at Sawgrass, which is not going to be easy to do with Charlie Woods. Thank you guys for all the support and the love here. Um, Masters week is always a special week. Not just um, in general, but on the channel as well. Um, because the videos do really well. People are hyped and feels good. I, I just uploaded my Masters Part 3 course video with Alex yesterday, which you should definitely check out it was an absolute banger um, we did the the match play at the at the par 3 course um seen as yesterday was the uh the par 3 course um tournament well today when i'm recording it but probably yesterday by the time you're watching this maybe today for members it might be up later today for members if sanikagi gets it done in time now let's check corn ferry tour Round one, which is the final round here at TPC Sawgrass. We're not going to run out of fairway with Charlie, with Turlock Ely maybe, or with some of the, the big bombers. We probably would run out of uh, distance, but Charlie should be A-OK. -okay. That is going down the right side, and it ain't pretty. That ain't pretty at all. Into the rough we go. Not the ideal start here, but you know what? It's completely fine. It's all completely fine here. Um, we have a decent eye out of the rough here. It's not 100% or anything, but 86 to 96. I feel like I need to go up one club anyway um, because of the... Oh, and the light gets worse when I go up a club there. Okay, interesting. 8 iron, let's try and get it up there and put it close. Is it coming back? Yeah, that's a great shot. Great shot, Charlie, lad. Beauty. All right. Good shot out of the rough. That wasn't an easy one. 17 foot for birdie here. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, hold a little downhiller here. Breaking slightly left to right. I would say pretty much the entire way. I, I wouldn't say there's too much, and it's definitely not that far downhill either. I got something like this. Oh, was well, slightly more. I swear I always do that. When there's a slight bit of break, I always slightly underread it. Like, slightly underread it. But a tap-in power on one is never a disaster. It's fine. The first hole here is, like, deceivingly tough, I find, at, at Sawgrass. But that's completely fine. I'm, I might be golfing Saturday and Sunday in real life this week. And then coming home and watching the Masters, of course. So, exciting weekend ahead. Looking forward to it. All right, we got 350 to run out here. Banger. Ah, Jesus, the fast 3.1 is killing me here, man. That's uh, Why is it always 3.1? All the time I'm hitting it fast 3.1 with charity it's like i don't know every single time man i don't know what to say uh three wood is not gonna get there but that's all we got really i could try a power approach three wood i don't have that actually so no i can't i'm just gonna bomb a three wood up there and see how close to the green we can get oh now i hit it slow when i actually want to hit it fast that's hilarious but not a bad shot i'll tell you that's actually pretty damn good onto the green we go and it's an eagle puff it's not gonna be the easiest eagle puff but we muscle that on there as charlie woods 
and give ourselves a nice little uh, eagle putt here. It's breaking to the right, right off the rip, then back to the left, back to the left quite significantly in the middle, and then back to the right. So it's definitely going to break a little bit more to the left, but it's not really that extreme, I would say. Uh, I'm going to go like a 55-foot putt here, and we're going to hopefully... Um, Hopefully get a nice eagle here. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? Just turn back now. It's a very good effort, honestly. It needed a little bit more juice, but a very good effort from Charlie there. And the first birdie of the day here at Sawgrass moves us to one under par. Remember, we need to start scoring points consistently here on the Corn Ferry Tour if we want to make it to the playoffs and give ourselves a chance to qualify for the PGA Tour. Carson Next and Ogum both shot 66s Park here at Sawgrass, so that's going to be tough to match, but you know what? Not impossible. I love Sawgrass. I know how to play Sawgrass, as I said. I know the course. I swear whenever I say I know the course, that's what I end up doing terrible. But I do know the course. Let's see if Charlie knows the course as well as we do. See again. 3.1% fast. What is up with that? It's like it's... Uh, well, hit her leg and came back out. That's a, a decent break there. But what is up with that? I swear it's like scripted to be specifically 3.1% every single time. Like, what are we talking about here? Chip could be perfect, you know. It wasn't. Quite simply wasn't. Like truly one. spectacularly bad chip there. Good effort on the way back, but too late. We give up the birdie that we got on the second. It's a PBFU here. We can't afford too many of them if we want any chance to make um, to make an impression here. And that is very poor, honestly. From a really good position, the walk off with a bogey there is really, really silly. Really good position. I mean, it wasn't a really good position, but uh, from it wasn't that difficult of a chip, really, to Frank, put myself off the green. That was silly. All right. I like this hole, but it is dangerous. A lot of water on this hole. It's scary. It's dangerous. We're not going to run out to 332, so I think I can safely hit driver down there. Get myself a shortest shot in. There we go. Again, fast 3.1%. It's rigged! I'm telling you, what is going on there? Every single time, it's the exact same fast 3.1%. There's no way I'm consistently hitting it the exact same like that. What is going on? There's something wrong there. I need to be careful here. Jesus Christ, we need to be careful here. All right, wind behind us. Of course, we need to be careful. I'm going to go right of it just to be safe. And then fast 2%. At least it wasn't 3.1. Good shot. It is going to turn... A decent amount still. Even though we're quite a ways down here, it's still going to turn a decent amount. I'm going to go for like 10 foot. Breaking left to right. Like that. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, come on. Come on. Really? Oh, my God, man. That is... That's cruel. It should have been a bounce back birdie, but it just slips by the edge. It looked like it was destined for the bottom of the cup. But Destiny is going to evade us a little longer here. Par 4, toughish one here, I'll say. Uh, you need to hit a good tee shot or you're in the bunker. Either side. Again! No, there's something wrong there, guys. There's something... Like, I, I was going to say, I'm going to hit this super slow just to see if it's still fast 3.1%. And it is. It's, it's completely and utterly rigged. On the drive, specifically. What's, uh, what, what's going on here? I mean, it's fine. Don't get me wrong, but it's, uh, it's starting to bother me. It's starting to bother me. Oh, He's got 159 yards left. Wind is helping from behind, so you can take a little less Good club. Shot. Surely. Oh. Oh. Really? I thought it was going to be good. It certainly isn't. Well, I'm kind of landed on the downslope, but I think we can make it work here. Yeah, I think we can make this work. Not like that, you can't. What the fuck? Fast 3.5%. Man, Charlie is tough to play as. With these skills and stuff, it's really, really tough to play as it. Alright, it's a putt on the way back, and we need to avoid a... The chipping specifically is very difficult, I find. We need to find a way now to not bogey this one as well. I gave it a little extra and I was correct to do so. I was thinking I've been under-reading these. I've been saying it all the time. Give it a little extra. And if you miss on the high side, so be it. But there you go. Clutch save for par from Charlie Woods. We're 30th on the leaderboard right now. We need another top, uh, top, another top 10 finish. Back-to-back -to -back top 10 finishes would be phenomenal here.
Come on, Charles. Uh, 3.41, we run out. There's no real reason for me not to drive it. So. Okay, there we go. I, I hit that as slow as humanly possible. It's still fast, but it's only 1.2% fast. I don't know if that's something to do with the driving control and accuracy, or is it just the fact that I'm my swing, my delayed swing or whatever. But I, I used that one with my other character, too, so it shouldn't be that, really. Be good. Come on, come on, come on. Zip! Zip! Oh, get out! If that doesn't go onto the well, first cut, it spins all the way back to the pin. Going, That's unlucky. Alright, here's the chip now. This is the chipping we need to get used to. Better. Better chip. Still fast 2.7%, which is crazy, but tap in par this time instead of uh, struggling. All right, we've only birdied the par five so far. Other than that, we've been fairly inconsistent here, so we need to be a little bit better. Short game needs work for sure. He doesn't get, he doesn't have the touch of his daddy yet. So uh, that sounds weird. We need to obviously just kind of put a few skill points in here and there and, and get better. Yeah, perfect. That's too fast 1.2% in a row. I can manage those a lot better than the 3.1% for sure. Good shot. Down the middle, Charlie Woods on the bike. Let's go. Come on. We're, the struggle is real, but I love the struggle. I love the struggle, man. Kind of uh, counteracted each other, maybe? Yeah, it just sends it a little right, unfortunately. But Jesus, the tempo. Oh, it's a putt for a birdie. Can't complain too much about that. It does break right to left pretty much the entire way. I will say it's not as severe as I would maybe think. But still need to hit it. Still need to play it. Ah, I played a little too much that time. A little too much that time. I just didn't give it a little bit more. This time it was the incorrect decision. Last time it was the correct decision. All right. Par. We've kind of steadied the ship with four straight pars. Now it's time to make a few birdies again. This one's tough to birdie. But um, it's just a really long par three. But the, then after this hole, we can start to play a few scorable holes maybe and uh, birdie the par, f uh, par five ninth and kind of see about the back nine. Back nine is interesting here on this course. That's too much still. I think that's still too much, the five wood. I think this could be the club. A little three iron. And I, I do think that could still go too far, but we need to be careful of it. Good shot. Really good shot. Please sit. Please sit. It's just impossible to get it to stop with Charlie's control, man. All right, not a bad result, honestly. Pretty good. As good as we probably could have hoped for. Get in. Charlie. Oh, it just didn't turn that extra little bit. Good chip, though. Again, we're getting a little bit more used to how to play as Charlie Woods now because it's going to take some time to get used to. We're getting used to it. It's a tiny bit below. Not much in this. I'm just going to barrel it in. Get the uh, get the par and run. Par there is a good score. We hit a really good tee shot. And uh, a chip in a pot. We'll move on to the par 5 in, in good condition here. We're still level par. We're still up uh, in the top half of the leaderboard. We just need to continue to, to plug away here. Make a few birdies on the back nine. Maybe birdie the ninth here. Finish 3-4 under. That'll be a solid week. It, it's not looking likely that we'll be able to go for the win here, obviously. Because we wouldn't need to have a much better start than this, I think. Perfect. Perfect drive. Now it's all 1.2% fast. <laughs> First it was 3.1. Now it's all 1.2. We'll take it, though. That's much better. The drive was fine, but just 289 uh, left of the green. It's not going to be reachable for us. I don't think I can even hit driver so off deck. The fairway, but okay. pretty good Do I want to just hit this and get it as close as possible? Yeah, I don't see why not. Beauty. Absolute beauty with the three wood there. Might as well get it up there as close as possible. We could even flop it from there, I think. Maybe just out of flopping distance would have to be a long flop, which is much more risky. Oh, the long flop is risky, though. I'm going to play a safer long flop. No way it's going to go this far left, surely. <laughs> it did the opposite. It went way right. The long flop, the, the bronze long flop is terrible. I should have probably pitched it, but... It was going to be hard to get it to stop with a pitch. This is not that bad, though. Pretty flat. Come on, give it to me, baby. 
Yes, great birdie from Charlie Woods to close out the front nine. One under par. We would need a five under back nine to compete with these guys, which is highly unlikely, but not impossible. Not impossible. We're under par again, and that's all that matters. Putting in a good solid shift here. And that should move us up the leaderboard a few places at least. Let's see. Yeah, up to 19th. We're inside the top 20 now. I'm just going to take out three wood and bang it out there, because I do think driver is usually too much here. Usually with a, a longer player, but even here, I think three wood for Charlie will be... Uh, will be absolutely fine. Maybe I could hit driver, but that's that's fine. Honestly, it's only going to be like, what, one, yeah, 150? Nice so it's like, it's not that much at 165. Okay, so yeah, maybe I could have hit driver, but it's, I mean, that's fine. It's not a problem or anything. Oh, eight irons, perfect. Eight irons, absolutely smoking. Too much, I think. I just overswung it a little bit, but it might be okay. Catch the slope behind the, behind the pin here. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. 11 foot for a birdie with Charlie for back to back birdies with Charlie. Come on, Charlie. It's level, but it definitely turns right a little bit. You can see not that much, but definitely enough to make you go, hmm. I'm going to say something like this. Right there, right there. That's going to scoot a foot or two by. It's the second time that's happened today. Now just absolutely burning the edges. Just burning the edges. That's a cruel one. A, a tough one to take, but we'll have to take it. We move on to another par five. All right. Quite in the shadows here. If we can bomb one up there, I wonder can we get here in two with Charlie? I, I somehow think it's still not possible because the course isn't very firm. It's a 300 yard drive. Is it possible to reach in two? Yes, it is actually. Yes, it is, actually. The thing is, getting it to stop with Charlie is a whole nother ball game. Like, that is the problem, I think. Like, that's too much. And then, this is probably not enough, but it's my only option, really. 222. What is it to carry that bunker? I wonder if it's close to 222. I'm going to hit this with a little over something. Dead pull. What the fuck? What was that? Why was it just a dead pull? Two solid shots. Bit of a weird one, wasn't it? It wasn't like I hit a big fast or anything. I gotta be honest, that's a very, that's a mystifying one, to be quite perfectly honest. Right, I'm gonna try and land this just short and run it out to the pin. Gotta be careful with this one. Good shot, stop. It's always gonna be tough. But a decent shot, six foot for a birdie. We birdied the, the only birdies we've had so far are par fives. I'd like to birdie this one as well. from here. This for birdie. What do you say? 65 percentage? There you go. Good putt. Good birdie. And we're two under. We moved to the 12th at two under par. We've birdied every par five so far, but other than that, we've been kind of a little bit so-so. But if we keep birdying the par fives, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's going to be a decent result if we par the rest. Now, this obviously is not reachable with Charlie. It would be reachable generally. Definitely not with Charlie and definitely not with that, uh, with that win either. Um, so... I'll just pop, bomb one up there. The fast 1.2% is there again every single time. Now, I did not need driver today. Should have hit three wood. I think it should be fine. Right, we got to be careful with this one because this is going to be uh, one of those ones that kind of just, when it hits the ground, it's just going to bomb bomb on down there. I don't think I need the pitching wedge, actually. I, w I would rather have, like, yeah, 54 degree. Sit now. Sit now. Sit now. Sit now. That's a beauty. An absolute beauty. Thank God I switched away from the pitching wedge. Really good decision. And that gives us a really good yeah, chance good for another birdie here. Okay, it does turn a decent amount, but not crazy. Oh! Uh, nice so lucky. So lucky. And that's the first par four that we birdie of the day. And that's huge. That's huge. We're, we're not out of it completely yet, you know. We need three birdies in the last five, six holes here to try and make the make this work. Six holes we have left. Yes, this is 13. I got it. I can't take really it on, really, can I? Oh, it can be disastrous too. That's I think what you're referring to, right. Rich. There's okay. a big ridge in the middle of the screen that bisects the make it top work. side with the bottom side on the we'll left. High so draw. Even when the flag's on the left, you don't have to go directly. Oh, that's at so it, good, dude. That could be really, really good. The, I'm not drilling. Wooden bulkheads down Sit. the left Sit. side, and obviously the water. God, it still goes that far. That's crazy. I can't believe it still goes that far. Wow. What a shot, though. 21 foot for a for a birdie. It's down the hill. It's turning. Not that much, actually. I was expecting a lot more turn here. I do think the further left you aim, is the, the more it turns is the thing. But I'm going to go like something like this. I think at the end it turns the most. Not really, though. It looks like it's not going to turn that much at all. 
Downhill is going to make it turn a little bit more. That's a great effort. It's a great effort. It's a brilliant effort. And we're not out of this yet. Charlie Woods, three straight birdies here. Could he win at TPC Sawgrass? Following his father's footsteps who won here before. He's won everywhere, to be fair. So we'd be following his footsteps no matter where we win, it seems like. But, uh, wow. Absolutely brilliant. This holds tough, though. I'll take a par here after the three straight birdies. Just no PBFU, please. Beauty. Again, the fast 1.2. It's just... Automatic now. We got rid of the fast 3.1. We're hitting fast 1.2 now. I haven't hit a drive that hasn't been fast 1.2 or fast 3.1, I don't think. <laughs> like, it's those two exactly every single time. I feel like it's some sort of visual glitch or a glitch of some sort, but I'll take it. As long as it's not the 3.1s consistently. 6.6 6 iron. I think a little bit off the 6 iron works. Oh, please. Hold that line. Hold that line. It's long. It's long lock, my dong. Oh, it's fast 3.1%. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I was just saying how I needed to get rid of the fast 3.1%. So what did I do? I didn't, didn't, didn't get rid of them. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna try something special here. We're gonna land it just on the green, just like that. Wow, that, that did not want to stop at all. No matter what I did, I feel like that would have uh, just kept rolling. This turns actually quite a bit, you know. Turns quite a bit more than you think, I feel like. This is a tough one. Huge putt for the program. I was going to say it would be a devastating bogey after the three straight birdies. But we need a Ricky Fowler style finish to give ourselves a chance here to win at Sawgrass. Three under for the last four would do it. Two under for the last four would bring us to a playoff. I don't know if there's a playoff on the Corn Ferry Tour or how it works. But it would be cool. This tee shot, you have to be on your game. As simple as that. Beauty. Beauty, come on, how magic would it be to win our first event here at Sawgrass? Just oh, this right is going to be perfect. There. The 6th 8 iron is going to be absolutely splendid. Oh, so good. So good. Sit. Sit sit, 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 Right there, right there. Beauty! It's an absolute beauty. It's a chance to get to 5 under here. Charlie, 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 Charlie. You're starting to make my nipples tingle here, my man. What? Come on! Five under. Four of the last five are birdies. It's a magic back nine. I told you guys. I told you guys that I'm clutch at Sawgrass. You didn't want to listen. But we're here as Charlie Woods and we're doing the business. Simple as that. Let's go, Charlie. Let's go, Charlie. Now it's time to really clutch up. Like only the woods know how. It's a beautiful draw around the trees perfectly. You couldn't place it any better if you walked up there and placed it down in the middle of the fairway. It's perfect. That pin position is deadly though, but it's very reachable for Charlie Woods. Now Charlie Woods is not accuracy wise. So far got the best stats, so we need to be very, very careful of this one. And I'm thinking one less. I'm thinking six iron here. It's a little bit on the risky side. I'm gonna play it a little bit safer here. Because we do have to slope bringing it in. Just don't miss it too far left. That's just too far left. At least it's not right. Okay? That's all I'll say is at least that's not right. If the fast 3.1 sent it right there, that would have been a terrible, terrible... Oh no, it stays on the green. This is going to be awful. Oh, this is going to be genuinely awful. It's going to be tough to stop going in the green, actually. Or in the... No, it's not that down, though, is it? There's not that much in this. It looks like this is breaking right to left, but it's actually doing the opposite. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be safe. Charlie Woods, you beauty! We've tied the lead here with an absolutely magnificent lag pod. But we move on to the 17th and 18th. Which are going to be very, very tough with Charlie's accuracy. Five of the last six are birdies. That's incredible. What a back nine this is for Charlie Woods. But we need to be clutch more. We need two more holes to be clutch here. If we finish him one under, we win the tournament potentially. But if we don't, if we finish him level par, it could be a playoff. But over par, and we're going to lose out. We need to be ever so careful here. I'm going to be safe here. I know it's a little bit lame. But I think I have to be safe here. 
we see nightmares galore. And that's where you have to remind yourself what, I know. what does happen here. I normally cut the Oh my god. It's, it's on the precipice. There. Sit! So if you just take 13 yards off the yard, it's fine. Like, it's absolutely fine. Charlie Woods, that you absolute dog. This is no time to be a hero. You can still have a putt for dirty. Okay. Couldn't give us a stance on the wood, so it's decided to put us to a uh, five foot for a birdie. We'll take that action. Oh, <laughs> We're leaving the door. <laughs> you dirty dog, Charlie. He's birdied six of the last seven. We got a little, we, we kind of, we kind of. <laughs> People always talk about 17 being I feel like we kind of broke the rules there a little bit. Well, we used the rules to our advantage at the very least, and now it's time to be safe and make a par here. No bullshit on the 18th. Let's just make a par. Oh yes, that is so good. And of course, then you start bringing five, so six, good, seven, Charlie. Eight into play. It's an absolute beauty. So right down the middle. And this has been one of the clutches oh, back nine performances one. you'll ever Pressure see from Charlie Woods there, here. 18, it's magical. It's beautiful. Lead. And now and we can play a safe shot here because all we need is a pair. We need a there. safe shot here from Charlie and just kind of... Just enjoy. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment, Charlie. It's going to come back down this hill, you know. It's gonna come all the way down. Keep coming, keep coming for Charlie. Oh, it stops. It's a solid shot. All right, it's not the easiest two putt in the world. Definitely thought it would come down a little bit more, but yeah, I'm gonna be super safe with this. I'm, coming, I'm taking like ten foot off this. A little bit of left to right in it, but you've got to be careful not to hit this too hard. You do got to be careful not to hit this too hard. And we've done just the perfect thing here. Charlie Woods is going to be a Corn Ferry Tour winner, surely. Unless something dramatic happens in the groups behind us. I think we've we've gone and done it. Don't you dare do something to me here. Don't you dare simulate these results to be something. I think we've won it. We've won! Hello world. Hello world, I guess. We've won on the Corn Ferry Tour. Charlie Woods gets his first victory. He holds up a non-existent trophy, but that's okay because we are going to the PGA Tour if we keep this up. Let's go. Get in there, Charlie. Right hand on the Bible. God can strike me down if I'm lying. That motherfucker's cheating. What a massive boost up the rankings that's going to be. Oh my word. Charlie Woods, you absolute beauty. We're heading to Harbor Town next. Um, and we still have the chance to get early promotion as well if we win the next two events. Uh, or win two of the next three at least. Wow. Harbor Town is a beauty. And I'm looking forward to it. What a round that was. That was absolutely magical, honestly. Magical round. Because after the front nine, I was saying, like, there's no way we're winning. I didn't think it was, we were we could possibly have that good of a back nine there with 71 rated Charlie Woods. I didn't think it was possible, but we did it. We absolutely did it. All right, Charlie Woods has a few more skill points we can use as well. I'm not gonna use them all here now, but I'll use a few of them at least. I'll go one more into power, one more into power, just to give Charlie a little bit of a boost off the tee there. Cause right now we're not even able to reach most of the power fives and stuff. It's a, it's a struggle, but that's okay. That's the way I like it. Uh, in terms of approach control, what did I want? The knockdown and the long flop? Knockdown's an important one to have. Long flop silver as well, but I need my short game recovery up to six. I go with this. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna leave this one at zero. Just so the lies are actually more punishing, I'm gonna leave approach recovery on zero. Like short game recovery is one thing, but approach recovery I'm gonna leave on zero. I want the spinner, so I'm going short game control to four, just so I can have that option. See, I just want some of these shot types and then I'm gonna stop upgrading them completely, to be honest. Like that's all, we're not gonna put on any fittings and stuff like that, because I want it to be a challenge, as I said. Eventually I'll be turning the AI difficulty up to 100 as well, once we get to the PGA Tour and stuff. But uh, right now I think it's a really good challenge. Like I, I had to play lights out on that back nine to win by one. And we did just about that. We're still only a 72 rating, so let's jump into Harbor Town and do uh, the one round event here at Harbor Town and see if we can go back to back victories on the Corn Ferry Tour. We're trending upwards with Charlie Woods, though, no doubt about it. Harbor Town's a beauty, man. It's really fun. You have to be quite accurate, though, because it's there's some narrow uh, holes out here, so um, we need to be accurate. We gained an extra five yards off the tee from last time. I think three wood is the play here. Um, so let's play a little three wood out there for for Charlie Woods. Um, a little bit left that might be blocked out, you know. And that's the problem with Harbor Town, is what I'm saying. You have and to miss in the right places. The and there we have not missed in the right place. First. This could be a little bit of a a tough one so to manage. I don't know if I can get up and over this trip. I don't know. I think I might have to finesse a pitching wedge, but I think we could maybe get a big high draw get going to. here. What do you and try and get it to stop on a dime. This point in time. Well, you look to grit. 
You look to determination. That's such a good shot. It did clip the tree still, though. Ah, uh, it did clip the tree still. That's a shame. Okay. You know, we might be a, a little bit, um, a little bit hungover after the after the win at Sawgrass. So we need to be, we need to be on it. Yeah, and that breeds confidence and confidence. Yeah, exactly. We've done it already this season. Let's just be calm. That is an absolutely gorgeous bunker shot. Wow, what a shot. Charlie Woods plays that to perfection. Underswung it. Uh, more than I wanted to, really, but it worked out. Otherwise, it would have been quite a bit past the pin. So we'll take that. And there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Charlie Woods. Gorgeous. Charlie Woods lighting it up now and looking to play his way onto the PGA Tour and eventually play in the majors that this fall they're 115 of. Maybe 16 this week. Who knows? Anything can happen in golf. A beautiful shot there. Straight as an arrow from Charlie Woods, but that is going to be just into the rough, unfortunately. Uh, that's a bit of a nightmare there. 197 yards. We should be able to reach still. We should be able to tattoo that one onto the onto the green. Only problem is that bunker and that pin position does not play nicely with that. Um, I think I'm going to take one off this and I'm going to hit the six iron and just let it run up there. That could be really good. If it, if it doesn't hit the tree. Oh my god. That got launched. <laughs> that went so much further than I thought. Wow. Great shot, though. Really we'll take that all day. Seven. Good shot. Chip, uh, chipping a pot here for Charlie, and we'll be on our way. See if we can make a little, uh, little up and down here. Or just an up. Charlie Woods! He's out here dominating. It's a beautiful eagle. And we are coming for the PGA Tour. We're going to win three events in a row and we're going to do this thing. 67 is the lead right now. I'm only two shots off the lead. And that's a beautiful eagle to help start off the round and start off the run at back-to-back -back wins here on the Corn Ferry Tour. Let's go, Charlie. Beautiful little draw. Beautiful little draw. We'll take that stuff all day, son. Oh, okay, that's, gonna be safely in the that's a beauty. 130 yards left. I don't think that's going to be enough, but this could be not enough either. Okay, I need a finesse of pitching wedge, but let's see what we can do with it. Oh, please be good. Charlie, you sick savage. He's on one. He's on one now. There's no stopping him now. Charlie Woods is on it. And I'm feeling really, really good, man. I'm feeling really, really good. Charlie Woods, eagle birdie start here. And it went from being a slog and a grind to feeling like I can't go wrong. One shot off the lead. Let's go. All right. Do we go, uh, do we go for it? I think we send it. I think we send it. We go for it. Charlie Woods. For his first hole in one. I don't know if it would actually be his first hole in one, but... I assume probably. Good shot. Can't really complain too much about that. Okay, 25 that foot down the hill for a birdie. So it breaks to the left and then breaks back to the right. Let's see if we can make a birdie. Come on, come on, Charlie. To tie the lead! Charlie Woods, within four holes, has tied the lead with a par five to come here. He's had an absolutely lights out start, four under through four. What are we cooking? What are we cooking right now? I don't know. Jacobs is four under through eight, but we're four under through four. Absolutely disgusting. Beautiful stuff. A good drive up near or beyond that cart path should leave you with a good look into a green that slopes off to the right. Mmm, mmm, sit. Not a good shot. I needed to be cutting that corner a lot more than I was, and I didn't. So 261. 261, baby. All right, lie's not great, but I think we can still muscle it to nearly up there. Like, front of the green kind of way. I don't think we can get it on. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty damn good. I'll tell you. Okay, what are we going to do here? I think a little pitch shot should do the trick here. Or maybe the spinner. First time trying the spinner. Because we haven't played a spinner with Charlie Woods yet. Let's try it. Into the wind, this should be magic. Oh, it's really good from Charlie. And this is to go five under through five here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. 
Come on, baby. Five under through five. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Charlie Woods bangs it out there. Absolutely perfect. And look at that. 3% instead of 3.1%. Seems to have fixed itself this round. Beautiful shot. 135 yards left. Let's cook. I think I need a finesse nine here. I don't think the pitching much quite gets there. So I'm going to need something like this. So you'll definitely need to account for that. Just a little bit right, unfortunately. It's not bad. It's going to be a putt. It does spin back onto the green, but yeah, it's going to be a tough putt. 28 foot for a birdie. It's going to be tough to be 600 to 6, but you know what? I can't really complain too much at all. We'll take that. We'll take that. I'm going to go with this. Oh, I needed a little more juice, man. Good line. It was a really good line. Just needed slightly more juice. All right. No problemo. Take that. We'll take that. Four or five under, sorry, through six holes with three to play on the front nine. We could have a magic front nine here. And we're in the solo lead as it stands. Frank is four under through six. He's had a very similar start to us. He's come out of the blocks firing. But uh, let's just put the foot down. Let's put the pedal to the metal and have Charlie Woods just go out and shoot 59. He's riding high after his win at Sawgrass. He's feeling the confidence here. And things are looking really, really good. Let's see if we can continue the form. I'm going to go with this because I think that this is going to run on a little bit and release. Oh, poor shot. It's going to be middle of the green. It's not a bad shot. I, I shouldn't say poor shot. It's, it's, it's an okay shot. It's a decent chance for a birdie here. So 22 foot 3 inches for a birdie. Oh my god. That turned a lot right off the rip. Yeesh. And goes 5 foot by nearly. Alright. We need to be careful of this one. Just make sure. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Five under through seven. Still a very good start. Let's just birdie one of the next two. Six under front nine would be magnificent, even if we par them both. A five under front nine would be quite simply lovely here at Harbour Town. Harbour Town's not an easy course. It's like deceivingly difficult, I think. But yeah, magical stuff here. We're running out of 323. We're not going to drive the ball 323 yards, especially because this is kind of a softer course. Back to the 3.1%, but that's a, an absolutely perfect result. And let's see if we can give ourselves a good birdie chance here on this one. I'm going to finesse a six. It's going to be perfect. Take a little bit off the finesse. Oh, poor one. Just got to stay out to the right. Might come back a little bit. You know what? Not bad. It's a tough hole, this one. So, birdie putt. Decent. 23 foot, 9 inches. We're hitting the ball really, really well. We need to continue this and give ourselves a chance. And a really tricky look here. Tough side hill putt. He's got to push it out to the right and just let it drift mm. its way back to the hole. Didn't quite give it enough. Didn't give it enough. Didn't put it out there far enough. Just but we'll take a little tap in power on this hole. As I said, difficult hole. But we'll take that. By the way, guys. Have you guys ever had the C4 energy drinks? These ones. Like the actual one that say energy drink. Because I had the performance ones. That, like it says performance energy here. But the ones that say performance there. And I uh, the Starburst one basically. And I didn't really like it. I was like I don't think I like C4. But I tried that one. And good lord it's amazing. That one and the pineapple head I tried. I have the orange slice in my fridge. And both of them are insanely good. Like two of the best energy drinks I've ever tried. I'm not even exaggerating or anything. So it's not really reachable for us. I might as well take three wood here. Because we don't want to run out of room. I uh, don't want to get put behind a tree or anything. I'm just going to take a nice little three-wood up there. That's absolutely splendid. Charlie, Sw Charlie Swoods, I was about to say. Charlie Woods just swinging within yeah, himself that here. And that is absolutely there. splendid. I'm going to play a little finesse here. And I'm going to try and just go past the pin a little bit and spin it back. Just like this. That's too far. Is it going to spin? It does. It does. Good shot. Good shot. Yep. Birdie okay, chance. Nice. Within 10 foot for a birdie. It's breaking not much at all, I would say. It's just more downhill than anything. It's below? Huh. I'm going to say it's fairly straight. I'm going to say it's fairly straight down the hill. Right in there. What is that? What is that game? 
Okay, that's in it's a cruel world and we're just living in it. Back nine, we lead the way still. Abraham Frank, close behind us. He's four under through nine. We're playing alongside him. I'm five under, one shot clear of him. Let's see if we can uh, if we can continue the hot form on the back nine here. Could lead to an under par start. We're playing really, really well. We just need to keep it up. Playing really, really well. That's a poor one. Is that going to get to the rough? No, yeah, it's going to be perfect. Absolutely Follow perfect from Charlie Woods. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, a little fast. A little fast action. Could be okay, though. We'll take that. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Hmm. Right to left, down the hill. Turn more than that, really? Oh, mm, not quite on line sickner. Sickner, sickner, sickner. Hello, Indy. How you doing, girl? What is that? Five pairs in a row after the hot start? I mean, we've steadied the ship. We haven't gone the opposite way, at least. But if we want to win this tournament, we need to we need to keep doing that and make a birdie here or there. And I think we'll be safe. Seven under one at Sawgrass. I think seven under would win it here as well, no doubt. All right, this is 425. Driver should be perfect. Four unique bunkers. That's splendid. It's the fast 3.1 is back, but I don't even care. <laughs> That's going to be going to the rough, actually, is it? Nope. We're stopping just in time. He just keeps oh, I like this. Remaining to the flag stick. Wind coming from behind, so you'll need to be careful where you land it. Watch the shot. I haven't said that in a while.
god, four straight birdies. That's the second time we've just caught fire four holes in a row. Five shot lead here at Harbour Town, and Charlie Woods is dominating the Corn Ferry Tour. What has just happened? Genuinely, what in the world has just happened? Insane. This one is a tough featuring a narrow landing area. I reckon I'm not going to put any more skill points on for a while, guys. What do you think? blind second shot requiring a pretty good right. All right, not really reachable, so I'm just going to lay up to the right side. I think this will be fine. I find the layup with actually. Just over to the right, give ourselves like 40 yards in. Perfect shot. I mean, we are just striping them. We are just striping them. Like there's no tomorrow. That's gonna be a pitch shot from there, you'd imagine. Do I throw a pitch it? Spinner? I think spinner's the play here. Watch and learn. Awful. It's not that bad, actually. It's a good chance for a birdie, you know. Nine foot five inches. No way it turns that much. Come on, really? That's tough to take. Ha! Okay, ah! We were on for a 59, potentially. I don't think we really out. were. We're four shots clear with three to play. I mean, we can't say it's tough to take when we're four shots clear with three to play. You know, <laughs> we're going to win the tournament. And that's all that matters. We're going to win back-to-back -to -back tournaments here on the Corn Ferry Tour. Oh, it's the tree, is it? Oh, I think we just avoided it, you know. It's going to go in the bunker anyway, though. <laughs> Not quite into the bunker. Okay. On the rough. Draw a bad lie. Uh, wicked. Well, Wicked. Wicked. Decent lie, but she just won't be able to get it to spin. See what he can do now with this, his second shot. That's an absolute beauty. I mean, that is fantastic. Jesus Lord, what is happening? What is going on here, guys? We're playing like a, a man possessed. Sawgrass, we grinded out the front nine and came alive on the back nine, and we've just been alive ever since. There's no stopping me anymore. There's no stopping me anymore. We moved to 10 under par. And remember, if we birdie the last two, that's a 59. Because this is a par 71. If we birdie the last two, Charlie Woods is on 59 watch here. And, uh, and this is unbelievable. Perfect. Sit. Oh, it's good. It's a good chance. It's a good chance. It does just roll off the green. A little unfortunate, but it's a chipping chance. It's a chipping chance. Or do I putt it? I'm going to putter. I think it's fairly straight on the putter, you know. I think it's fairly straight on the putter. Now back, now back. Oh, it did turn way more that way, actually. Okay. Oof. Six foot for a par now. Dodgy little par putt, this one. But we make it. Clutch. Ten under. I'd love to finish double digits under par. I mean... This is by far our lowest round of the season and of the career mode so far. And it's coming a tricky little golf course. It is scorable if you're playing well, but I mean, it can be quite punishing as well. And we just haven't even come close to a bogey, which is kind of insane. And Charlie Woods bangs one out there again. And that is going to be a perfect angle for the next shot. Beauty. A little bit safe there, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. 181. That's too much. That's probably too much. I'm gonna finesse a six iron, probably. I think so. Ah, push. Uh, the 59 isn't gonna happen, but you know what? We can be absolutely proud of our efforts here. We can be 100% proud of our efforts, and we can chip this one in here for a for a 60. Charlie, let's chip it in, lad. Oh, Charlie, you dirty dog. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. It's a tap in par at the last. It's a 10 under round for Charlie Woods. And that is something special from the young man. Back to back wins on the Corn Ferry Tour. And we've come alive here. We've come alive at Harbour Town. It's a 61 for Charlie Woods. We've won by five shots here. Nope, by four. Oh, no, he went back down to five. We've won by four, five shots here at Harbour Town. Charlie Woods. Taken after his dad with a dominant win here. And that is simply special. Back to back wins in this video, my friends. We're gonna turn the AI difficulty up to 100 now. Because I'm I'm done with the games. We're gonna start from the bottom on the PGA tour. We're turning the AI difficulty up to 100. Right starting right now. 
and we're gonna work our way up, all right? All right, 100 AI difficulty. There you go, Canadian Championship at Bra Banff Rings. If we win it, we get early promoted to the PGA Tour. Um, we have two more attempts to do that, actually. One at Can uh, at Banff Springs, which is a very scorable course, and one at Bandon Dunes. Both of them are very, sc very scorable, fairly scorable, I mean to say. But thanks for watching, really appreciate it. We'll be back with more EA Sports PGA Tour in the very near future, and I'll see you guys for that. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. I'll see you all soon. Peace out. Break.